Hello friends, welcome to our channel instrumentontools.com. In the series of real life PLC and HMI examples, today we are going to see PLC stone cutting machine. So this is you can see a smart stone cutting machine which cuts through very precisely. It works fully automatically and it can work on slate, granite and marble slabs. So this machine consists of IoT enabled HMI. So we can work on Internet of Things through this HMI also. Besides that, it has LXV 5 series Vicon PLC and servo drives and servo motors for 5 axis control. So you can see here there are 5 axis and 5 servo drives and motors and which can help us to make different slate, granite and marble slabs. This is the interactive HMI screen for each shape and because of internet of things we can operate this from remote location also and this is how the real panel looks like. You can see these are the servo drives and you can see it can make any shapes with very precision. It has wide portfolio of products and you can see this is the A axis motion. It can cut in curvature also and it also has the visual positioning sensor. You can see the current position of the grinder. This is the overview of the complete machine. So you can see it can cut in slanted position and complex work also. So let us understand the working of this machine and also its construction. So let's start. Here you can see this is one standard plate or a standard shape. So manual cutting of this is possible. But when you want shapes like this, manual cutting is little difficult and we can't do same shape if we want to do mass production. That's why it's better to use this smart stone cutting machine. Manually cutting these shapes with so much accuracy is time consuming and also require high skilled manpower. This is the reason we need this smart stone cutting machine which has HMI, PLC and servos and you can see this is the complete machinery. But how does it work? This is only the reason why we are making this video. So let's see. This is the complete overview of the machine and I assure you from this slide only you will be able to understand the most of the things about the machine. So first of all in the any CNC machine there are three main axes which are called X, Y and Z. So here you can see this cylinder. Here there is the moment for Z axis which moves this cutting wheel or cutting motor grinder in up down position. So here you can see up and down Z axis. Now this is the whole tray. In this tray this assembly can move towards right or towards the left. So this axis is denoted as X axis. So it has its own motor and here you can see uh, this is the flexible cable arrangement because this motor here there will be Z axis motor and X axis motor will be touching to this platform. So if the motor rotates it will move this assembly in right or left direction and this is the flexible cable because this assembly has to move anywhere. So the cable also moves along with this. Here also you can see if this assembly moves backwards okay so that is the y axis direction it can move backwards or come forward. So this is the cables for y axis now this is the common in every machine but what is the new in this machine that are the a axis and the c axis 
so here there is one main motor which only rotates the grinding wheel or we can say cutting wheel but a axis can rotate this complete assembly in 360 degree there is the c axis only so in previously we have seen that this right now this plate is vertical completely 90 degree to this board but due to c axis we can make this wheel slanting so we can cut slanting angles also and this wooden bench you can see this is our work bench where we place our marble or granite which we want to process and through this panel control panel we can operate this machine so all this axis consists of servo motor which is controlled through plc and that plc is controlled through hmi screen so this is the complete overview of the machine operation of each axis in this machine how all the axis actually work here you can see this is one sensor and there is one x mark over here so we have to focus on this portion to observe the movement of a axis how the a axis actually works and this assembly is moving left of this slide okay so that is the x axis operation so in this way we will see operation of each axis one by one so let me play this video observe that this x will move toward this proximity sensor the distance between x and this sensor is reducing okay so this is how it rotates you observe this plate here you can see the shape it is moving in x direction and it rotated the plate like this so the curvature is formed over here so this curvature you, you can see this rotation so this rotation is due to a axis now it will go little upwards so that will be z axis you see it gone upwards now again it will come back it will come down and then it will come back now again observe here you can see there is the movement x is moving far from this sensor so this wheel is rotated what is the use of this a axis so observe this shapes by only varying the x and y we can't make this operation this curves are possible you can see over here also this curves are possible due to a axis because a axis rotates the blade like this now in this video again we will see the movement of a axis which will be clearly visible to you so you can see this motor has rotated with the angle again you can see so this is the movement of a axis we will understand the c axis operation here you can see the cutting wheel is completely vertical or perpendicular to this plane but here you can see the cutting wheel is slanted so this is the operation of the c axis you can see the complete motor is slanted and it is moving forward so this is the movement of c axis here it is coming in x direction and also c axis is operated it is going upward so z axis is operated and it is going upward now it is moving backward so y axis this wheel was this cutting wheel now become vertical so that was the c axis and it gone left so this was the x axis let me repeat this from here observe carefully so in this video you will see operation of all axis let me play from here so right now x axis and c axis are operated to this position so now z axis will be operated and it will move upwards that you can see from here now there is a question here there is no any sensor to determine that 
it has completed its shapes so how it is operating so every servo motor has encoder within itself so the motor and encoders are on the same assembly so through the encoders drives get the feedback that it has traveled the required distance so what in the plc logic we will write store the pulses coming from encoder by the pulses coming from encoder we will count the pulses by high speed counter then we will do comparison of the counter value if the required distance is achieved that means if the required count pulses are achieved based on that we will give reverse and forward commands to our servo drives so this is how the programming works now we will see it is going backward so y axis the wheel become vertical so c axis vertical this and it is moving left direction so this is the x axis here you can observe this is the application of c axis this cut you can see this is not possible with the ordinary x y z axis so this slanted cutting is possible through c axis only and this is this process is called chamfering process now we will see what are the main components through which this machine is built so let us see that this is the complete architecture of our project here you can see that we have used iot enabled hmi screen which is connected to our plc through rs422 communication and plc and vision machine so this machine also has as i said earlier it has the vision visual sensor also which can detect the current position of the cutting wheel this is the sensor and this is the module for this sensor and it is connected to plc through this rs485 communication so based on this this pulse outputs are given to servo drives so you can see there are the five servo drives for five axis servo motors and so our input is stone material and that finished products we get required shapes so this is the complete architecture of our project so here you can see again this is the hmi screen which has lot of parameters and uh, this is the actual panel mps for plcs outputs are operated through this relays and other outputs like this servo motor so let us discuss uh, wiring about this servo motors here you can see l1 l2 l3 this is the main supply for this servo drive now here you can see uvw so this supply is for motor and this upper one is for the encoder that is coming from that is connected to motor itself and this is the communication cable coming from plc so same configuration is for all machines or all servo drives so this is how the actual panel looks like here you can see there are the five servo drives three servo drives are bigger because of main x y z axis and two servo drives are smaller because a axis and c axis doesn't have much load this is the complete panel here you can see it has wide application and lot of shapes can be formed through this machine these are the shapes along with their names besides this it also has other advantages like this is very flexible you can make any shape this is very stable it has very high accuracy and precision and it also has more functions compared to ordinary machines like slicing specially shape cutting profiling drilling milling grinding and etc this is how the plc operator screen looks like and the vision control specially vision control screen looks like this 
here you can see there are the dimension and based on this dimension the cutting wheel will be operated this is the screen you can see there are the shapes based on the shape you select the respective screen will open like you can see this is the screen for profiling that you can see from here if i click on this button this screen will open the question is why this machine is called smart machine so the answer is the whole project you can see from here this hmi is connected to internet and through the internet uh, we can access it through website or through mobile application it has cloud scada that means we can operate it from remotely and it can support other desktop tools so this is how this machine is made smart machine so what are the advantages of making this machine smart so it first it can be operated from remote location we can debug it means we can diagnostic or download from remote location also a maintenance engineer can work from remote location also if there is any update or revision in the programming so that saves the traveling expense and cost also can provide machine maintenance scheme so how it is uh, done machine itself can generate the alarms for preventive maintenance or if there is internal fault in any sensor is faulty or like that so that we can also see the real time status of the machine that how many products have been processed what is the current shape being processed through application hmi or from remote computer also last but not the least the equipment can give alarm function via email or other methods so even if the operator is not available there maintenance team can know about if alarm is coming so they can go for troubleshooting and servicing it so after watching such videos you will definitely give new ideas for making your projects if you want to get more real life examples like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you with another example in next video